I am really sorry, but the only way you're gonna be able to hear me on this microphone is if I'm literally right next to it. I sincerely apologize if this is annoying. But anyways, now from the title, you may be thinking, what the hell? is this bitch on well before i get into that i have a special guest i i literally feel so bad she's sleeping but it's gotta happen this is the love of my life <laughs> come on baby come on your name is sparrow hi so i don't think i've ever mentioned this before like ever but i'm actually really really into tarot and reading tarot and stuff like that i have um a very close relationship with it uh especially my first tarot deck that i ever got it is i hold it dear to my heart because that's the one tarot deck that actually like got me into tarot and i'm obviously not a pro but i've been trying to learn to like intuitively intuitively read it and stuff like that and i can't believe it only came to me like literally yesterday that i can use tarot to kind of i don't know see like the sims 4 what's going on with her okay we haven't heard much we have not heard much from the sims team in quite a little bit and i just i kind of want to know like what the future of the sims 4 is and obviously i don't know myself but i thought we could do a little bit of tarot for our girl sims 4 again she truly is the black sheep of the family i'm just saying and i actually got this tiger's eye tower the other day when um i went to uh, a kind of crystal shop and i didn't know what tiger's eye was good for and i asked the lady and she said you will see the things that you need to see with tiger's eye like you will need to know what you need to know. I thought that was good. I got this deck yesterday called the Field Tarot. I know it's probably backwards for you guys. Uh, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Like the illustrations, excuse me. And I have kind of recently cleansed my space with some incense and I cleaned this, I cleansed this deck as well too. But like I said, I don't know too much about tarot yet. So I'm not a professional. I'm gonna get started and shuffle this bad boy this isn't my original tarot deck but the only reason i'm not using the original one that i got first is because the cards are literally gigantic like i cannot shuffle them at all but pretty much the questions i'm going to be asking spirit is like uh what's going on with the sims 4 now and then what the future holds maybe ask some questions about the sims 5 you never know you never know i mean she might be coming in in a year she might be coming tomorrow holy shit i'd fucking die if it were coming tomorrow all right spirit what is the sims for what is up with the sims 4 right now what is up with the sims 4 right now okay Ooh. okay hmm we have i'm so sorry that's backwards we have the seven of cups um and it actually says choices right here um and then we have the lovers right here which can also signify choices if i remember correctly in the tower now, if you, if you guys are unfamiliar with the tower, um, this is pretty much uh, utter chaos and destruction um, when it comes to like changes, uh, big changes and stuff like that. So, right. So when I say the seven of cups, I basically think about choices, right? That's pretty much what this card is all about. And actually what's funny um, is that EA just hired Lumia, a CC creator to be, I, I guess like a business part partner or something. Um, and with this card, I am seeing that they have a lot of like potential business partners coming their way, especially like CC creators and stuff, because if they already took the step to hire a CC creator, which we literally I didn't think was ever going to happen honestly like I know they um collabed with CC creators for a recent update but the fact that they actually hired one really makes me think that they um do have a lot of potential partners and that kind of goes along with the lovers too because the lovers um in kind of like a business sense like EA or the sims team it can also signify um like a partnership with somebody else when it comes to um, finances. But I don't know why I am getting the feeling that the Sims team or EA or whoever is hiring these CC creators, are they think that that's what's gonna please us and they think that that's what's gonna save the game. It, it will help. I mean, the last update that we got with CC creators, it did add a lot of good things, um, but that's not the core foundation of what we want as Sims players. I feel like their judgment may be clouded on this. I, I really do, um, especially with the tower here. I don't know if this tower uh, signifies a good upheaval or a bad upheaval because in, in the good, this tower can bring a lot of change to the Sims 4 and it's gonna be uncomfortable, especially for EA and the Sims team because they're using used to just half-assing literally everything and cc creators don't do that they don't do that um but i feel in in the good sense this change will be good but in the bad sense it's it's risky investments i mean 
CC creators are not going to save The Sims 4. I mean, without the core fundamental gameplay issues about The Sims 4 being fixed, I mean, it's their problems are not going to be solved with just a, a couple of the CC creators. But I'm going to set these down in front of me. Actually, that's that's really interesting. I do feel like they are going to possibly hire a few more CC creators. I definitely don't feel like Lumia is going to be the only one. Um, but the question here is that is that really going to solve their issues? Is that really going to solve The Sims 4? Probably not. I'm pulling out an Oracle deck too. This is the Sacred Creators Oracle and I love this one and it's actually for like business type of like situations or um, entrepreneurs and stuff like that. I'm not one but I like to use these in my personal readings as well because uh, some of the like cards say stuff that aren't they don't have to be about business like external validation for example. I definitely struggle with that. Okay stop drop and ground the spark of hustle and the now so yeah with with the spark uh of hustle i definitely feel like they are working on something right now i am not sure what it's it's literally always a surprise i'm i'm getting in my head that this hustle is them trying to get the sims 4 done they definitely know that the sims 4 has run its course okay the sims 4 has been she's been here for a long time seven years six or seven years i forgot but that does that makes so much sense because they're hustling. They are trying to get everything done as soon as possible um, because I do think The Sims 5 is in the works. I mean, we've seen a little bit of evidence, not like crazy evidence, but we've seen a little bit, but the now. They need to focus on the now. We are in the present moment. And honestly, a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, The Sims 4. I mean, we need The Sims 5 now. It doesn't matter if The Sims 4 is a good game or not. Yes, it does. It really does. They really do need to focus on the now, what we want now. And what we want isn't, it's not that hard. I mean, it, it's simple. With the stop, drop, and ground, they definitely need to ground themselves in reality. Um, and when I say they, I'm talking about EA and some of the sims team because i've seen some questionable tweets from the sims team um over the course of the sims 4 and it honestly disappoints me um but yeah they need to ground themselves in reality i feel like they're so up in the clouds with all these different crazy ideas with what the sims 4 needs take journey to Batu, for example okay i know this was a while ago but it, it's relevant okay thought that was on their mind with the star wars pack is that oh well there are a bunch of different people who love star wars maybe we can get some more customers who love star wars to play the sims 4. the hustle is good hustling can be good but they honestly need to focus on what what we want now for the sims 4 to um actually improve in any way which i know there's been a lot of updates and stuff and that is a part of the hustle i mean all the updates we've got recently with bunk beds and stuff but they hustle and they hustle and they hustle but they don't do it the right way because yes we got bunk beds but they were not finished at all like we can't even put a full-size desk under it and even cc creators made that so from that set of cards they are working on something now they are hustling they are grinding like crazy i mean we just saw lumia get hired um so they are definitely working on something um but they definitely do need to ground themselves in reality because i i don't know why i just have a feeling that we are going to continuously be disappointed um and i'm not trying to be super negative all the time that's just the reality that's what i've seen that's where i get my evidence from um so yeah i guess <laughs> that's pretty much all i have from this deck which lovely deck by the way i will link it down below it's it's really pretty okay it is getting incredibly spicy in here um i had to take my jacket off because uh, just the sheer amount of heat that I was feeling while talking about this like I definitely feel fire energy like fire sign energy especially oh my gosh like especially with this uh, oh fire signs I'm a Pisces I literally can't handle it but I do have this beautiful deck it is called zodiac moon reading cards I just got it yesterday I'm really excited to use it I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these and then show you guys the card I am just gonna do one card for this deck all right spirit what is up with the sims 4 right now what is going on with the sims 4 in the present moment uh-huh okay this says a time of celebration and success um and it is uh, the sun in leo and i do i do feel like they will be celebrating a success um when it comes to finances i do feel like especially with uh with covid in the past and all their sales went up a lot and that is a cause for celebration of them that is success for them i mean the more money for them the happier but the thing that i have noticed about the leos that i've encountered if you are a leo i literally i've met so many different leos but so please don't take offense but the majority of leos i've known 
um, they do celebrate their success and they do find joy in their success and that's great. Um, but a lot of the times they forget um, the bigger picture and the other people that they are affecting. This also kind of signifies to me Sims 5 as well. I do feel like Sims 5 could be coming quite soon um, and that is also a reason for them to celebrate but we will just have to see if we will also be celebrating as well or uh, just EA because it's questionable at the moment. I would keep going with different decks, but if I kept doing this reading, I would be on this video um, for probably a, a whole ass hour. So I'm going to end it here, but that, that was really interesting. Yeah, so the message I got from this reading, the Sims team have a lot of potential business partners. They have a lot of choices to make, um, and it could either it could lead in a good way or it could lead in a bad way, um, but they are hustling. They are they are working really hard. Um, but they have to ground themselves in reality, honestly, and uh, focus on what the players want right now um, in the now, in the present moment. They need to focus on the now and not be so worried about um, the future. But yeah, that is all from me. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you liked it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I love y'all. Bye.